join up to the strike force. Still, no. Personally, I've got a lot of lot of work to do, and so um, just really looking forward to coming back here on uh, Sunday night and playing against the Renegades, and uh, hopefully getting my four overs in against uh, the, the Renegades, and especially hopefully against uh, Tatey. It's going to be pretty exciting with uh, a lot of new faces around the um, striker squad. So it's, it's definitely uh, yeah, definitely going to be pretty exciting, and uh, pretty happy to to uh, be involved with. Yeah. I'm still going to toss it up and see, um, see if I can uh, get the batters coming, coming at me and definitely going to be in the game a lot more with uh, the batters trying to hit me out of the park. So, um, yeah, just going to enjoy it and still toss it up there. Yeah, no, both is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to uh, work with him in the nets and learn off one of the best uh, off, off spinners that going around the world. So uh, he's going to be a crucial figure for the Adelaide Strikers. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting to know him a bit better and uh, working with him in the nets. Yeah, it is. You know, great to be back in Adelaide. You know, looking forward to the big bash tournament. Looking forward to playing my new teammates and you know bonding together. And you know, hopefully we can go out and defend our title. Well, you know, at the end of the day, it's a professional sport. Um, you know, he's gone to the Melbourne, one of the Melbourne teams, and you know, wish JT well. Um, we have had a good relationship, you know, on and off the field. I know it's still going to, it's still going to continue. Just coming up against him in, in that three hours, they're going to be war or whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, you know, still friends of the park, and you know, made the best team win on that day. Because if they come in by the neck, it's going to be hard to hit them out of the ground. But you know. Having said that, you know, wait for your opportunity when he misses his length and, you know, you do the rest. Maybe four or five games, um, I'll be here for, um, i got to head back home. We have a Caribbean T20 back home and stuff like that. So, you know, so i just going to try to give my best in the games I play and, you know, hopefully those games I play, we win and give them opportunity to play in the final once again. You no, know, each and every individual, um, you know, it's a, I would say, a new, basically some some new players, but there's still some old ones. So we still have a core of what we had last year. There's a couple of players that's left. So, you know, looking forward to it. It's going to be a new challenge, you know, getting to know your teammates within a couple of days and actually going out to, on, the field, on the field of battle. So hopefully the, all, all goes well and, you know, we give a good account of ourselves come game day on the 18th. Johan Bota is a very good player. Um, you know, his leadership qualities have been shown in the field, especially in Rajasthan and the way he plays for South Africa. He captain the South Africa 2020 team. You know, his all-wrong abilities as well, you know, a great player, bowling and batting, you know, a good cricketing brain. So it all goes well for South Australia and, you know, it's a, that's something that is going to do well for us in that middle, given the extra leadership qualities and all the young guys that we have going out there and actually perform as a team.